Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rai Party. I am back with my channel Rai Party. And today we are going to discuss uh, 12th one in the top 15 LODs, which is relative period filter. Now, if you see here, across two years, there is a uh, whatever the sales or profit, if it is taken here. Now, we will be doing it with sales. Uh, and the cumulative profit over the both the years is shown and the year over year of these two years is shown in here. Now we will try to get, see I will be doing video, this video in two parts because uh, there is a correct way of doing it and there is a more correct way of doing it. So first we will do a correct uh, way of doing it. Then we will uh, know about what is the problem with this correct way and then we will learn the more correct way of doing it. Okay, now let me go ahead into the video. Now, for the purpose of doing this, I want a, a date date field which is uh, pertaining to this year, right? But if you see in the order date, you will have only till 2019. So I want current year. So what I'll do is, I'll just create a calculated field. It's not create a calculated field order date updated okay in this what i'll do is i'll say date add of year comma minor sorry one i want to add an year and to which field that is order date okay now i'll say apply okay now when i drag this here we can see the current year Right now, as per the uh, the video that or this uh, top 15 and what is we he is talking about 13 week week 34 or something. So even in here, I want data only till current day, which is uh, today it is 22nd July. So for that, I'll go to here and I'll say edit data source filters and add in this order date updated with month day year i want i want to do a calculation based on days so i went for month day year here see uh, if we do something like this we get an error which is i'm saying order date less than or equal to today. right when i say this oracle throws an error because see today is a uh, field that is acting on our uh, system day and this is acting on the day the field that is present in the data source so these two are different so whenever we are using on condition in certain uh, dimension we cannot use at the uh, disaggregated level so we have to go for an aggregation but what aggregation do we want the the date in this order date should be less than or equal to my current date so what i'll take is i'll just take max Okay, now when I take max, if you see here, I will say apply, okay. Now, where is my order date? Now, I do no longer the, the, the require this old order date, so I will just hide this. And then, I will bring order date updated and I will just place it in here. Okay, now on this, I will be taking two custom dates. Now see, create custom date. Here, first what I will take is, I will take week numbers, but even I'm taking week numbers, I don't want week numbers over the years, but I want only discrete part of the years. So I'll take date part and then say, okay. Now, if I drag this order date updated, order date, which is of the days, weeks, you'll see all your weeks in here. Okay, I'll just put it in here. Now, in this order date updated, I also want to create one more, custom date which is month day year okay so in this month day year i i'll just say okay you'll get all your so i did these two because i'll be using them uh, continuously in my calculations further okay just to ease in that up i have done that now the second part is now we want we want year to date of current year and the previous year for the same date right so even in here he is talking about the same date 
okay when a march 1 is march 1 when the day is march 1 in the current year he want to compare it with the march 1 till march 1 in the previous year so that is what even we will be doing here now let me write a calculated field analysis create calculated field now here current year ytd now in this i will be writing a calculated fit and first uh, i'll be writing a uh, erroneous uh, calculation and i'll be giving you a reason why this is showing an error this will be almost every time i'll be doing this so that you will get an idea okay now year of order date is equal to year of today right now what will this give me all the dates that are in current year and order date less than or equal to today now in case in case if there are certain order dates see this will just take for a precaution in case if there is a order date which is exceeding our current date then we'll remove that also okay now then sum of sales okay else null end now by see we got the error this is because it says cannot mix aggregate and non aggregate comparisons that is that is because see here whatever year we are calculating it is it is being calculated at the row level but when we say sum of sales this is an aggregated level both these levels granularities are different so that is why we are getting an error so i'll remove the sum here and now this is valid i can leave it like this but i'll just put an aggregation here okay now when 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 i put such an aggregation here uh, i'll show you what happens okay fine now i'll say apply okay right now again i want last year's ytd right so again i will go for here last year ytd okay now here if year of order date updated is equal to year of today now i say minus 1 this is because see when we say year this the output of this is numeric the same way the output of this is numeric so when i say minus 1 i am talking about the last year which is 2019 okay and order date less than or equal to now i want the same day in the last year so date add of year comma i want it in the last year so minus 1 comma order date then sales i will not be uh, repeating the same thing else null end okay now i'll take sum on this or i'll leave this i'll show you the difference what happens if, if and if not what happens apply okay now i take my current year ytd here now last year ytd here now why i am here why why am i getting my nulls in here see the the issue is i am getting 53 nulls so why am i getting my nulls the reason we got uh, all these uh, nulls is because if you see here in place of keeping here today i put an order date updated so let me put today here okay apply now you will get please now we are getting bc here we got what is a 23 nulls that is because we are in our 30th week and there are somewhere around 13 weeks that are left now i'll just click on this and say filter data now this will be removed i'll just make it as entire view so that we get full view. now this is current year ytd and this is last year ytd so what is y year over year what is a year over year formula now the year over year formula y o y growth y o y growth what what is the year over year growth formula now that is 
we have to compare how much is the current year more than that of the last year. So now I'll take current year YTD minus last year YTD. I'll put this in parentheses. Okay. And then now I want to know how much is current year YTD more than last year. So percentage of that will be obtained when I pull my last year YTD here. Now this will give me year over year growth come when of the current year when it is compared with the last year. Okay. Now I say now why is this showing an error minus what is this saying? Okay, this is C cannot mix aggregate and non-aggregate because here in this uh, uh, last year YTD we didn't use, we use some C. This is aggregate and this is sum. So that is why. So either I can go here and make a, uh, put sum in the calculated field so that I will get aggregate or I can put sum in here so that now both, both are in the same level of granularity and again here also. Okay, now it will show the calculation as value. Apply. Okay. Okay, okay. Before that, there is one more thing that we have to do, which I forgot. Now, see here what we have is a cumulative. Whatever we have is a cumulative. Here it is profit, but whatever we have is a cumulation. So, here I will apply running total, and here also I will apply. Where is this? Yeah, running total. And over this, we will be calculating or we will making it a dual axis and then synchronize axis. Okay, now this is our current year. Blue is our current year and orange is the previous year. Now, we want our uh, year over year growth. So, I will be going to the next sheet. And here, I will be dragging. See, I created my... Uh, custom date because it will be easier for me to directly drag this and make it continuous and then I will drag whatever wherever is my year over year growth I will drag this in here and I will make this an area chart okay now I will take a dashboard I will drag the second sheet which is area chart and then I will drag my first sheet which is my line chart now here if you see this doesn't actually make much sense because see here uh, you are seeing that uh, this uh, current year is always over the last year but, but it is always showing uh, you that uh, the current year growth is much higher than the last year growth. But here we are comparing this is a cumulation so we are we cannot compare uh, year over year growth when it is in cumulation. So for that what I will take is I will take, take a duplicate of this. And on this, I will remove the table calculations on both of them. Again, clear table calculation. Now, let me create another dashboard. And now see, here I will drag this, this in this. And on that, I will be dragging my area chart. And I will remove this. Okay. Now see, wherever, wherever there is a slight distortion here and here. So, just when you are seeing that, okay, well, let's do one thing. We will remove this. Now, see, wherever there is a spike in orange, there is a depression in here. See here, wherever there is a spike in orange, see here the orange is in spike, so that is why it is in depression. Even in here, the orange is in spike, so we have it. So, that is the year over year growth that we got. Now, we will, we will now discuss about why is this correct and why, why why do we have a more correct way of doing this. Now, let me take a calculated field and I will name it as day of year. Now, uh, I will calculate a date part in this day of year, comma, order date. Okay, now apply. Okay, now I'll convert this into dimension. Now I will drag my day of year here. Okay, then I will drag my order date month day year. 
I'll drag it in here. Now, if you see the first day, first day of the year is first Jan, second day, second Jan. Everything looks fancy. Everything for every number there is an equal. All the dates are similar. But when we come to our current day, what is our current day? Today is 22nd July. Let me come to 22nd. Okay, we went to September. Let me come till 22nd July. Yeah. Now, if you see. In 2017 or today is 20, I'll come here to 2004. See, when it is 22nd July, the number of days from 1st of January, if you count, the 22nd July is 24th, 204, so 204th day of the year. Whereas the 204th day of the last year are 23rd July. So, when you are comparing, it again depends upon what the company's practices are. If your company is comparing from the start of the year date to current date, if the date should be same, then it is fine. Uh, it will, it will be, it will, the current calculation is valid. But if the same company wants to compare based on number of days in the year like how many days have passed because if every day sale is compared to every every day sale in the past year right so when there is a leap year that is coming between there is a difference that you have to accommodate for whether you accommodate it or not is up is up to the company's policy but what if a company asks to accommodate you for year of it now this is not completely true there is some discrepancy so it's, a, it's been a long video, so I'll be making a second part of the video showing you why that is more correct and how to get, how to incorporate the day of year and get the calculations right. And uh, thank you guys, this is Rajeshwar Rai Party and this is my channel Rai Party. If you like this video, please like, subscribe and share and share it to your friends who are looking for uh, solutions in Diablo and are stuck up in their project. And also please do comment in my uh, channel if you have any queries or if you want me to make videos on certain topics, please do comment in my YouTube channel. I'll definitely try to make a video on that. Thank you guys. Thanks, thanks a lot.